Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pony and Wolf Productions video. My name is Visual Pony and today we are reading the story Discord Applies for Citizenship Papers by an author called CCC or Triple C. As I would just say it, you know, but it's written here literally as three capital C's, so CCC. Um, personally, I think the premise is nice which is why I thought, okay, you know what, let's do this. And without further ado, let's do this. The Only Chapter A lion paw and an eagle claw slammed onto the simple wooden desk. A long, sinuous body snaked down to bring its head down, eye to eye with the poor pegasus behind the desk. My name is Discord, snarled Draconicus. I'm older than Equestria, older than the princesses. I am older than the seas. I have seen the void between the stars. I have felt its hunger. I have seen entire species rise up, build civilizations and fall. Sometimes over the course of a single afternoon. I was already ancient when Equestria's sun first ignited, before the planet itself formed out of the primordial interstellar dust. And um, how many years would that be? Asked the Pegasus. All of them, growled Discord. That, um... The Pegasus glanced down at the paper on the desk, then looked up again. The form needs a number. He explained firmly. Discord growled. How do you measure years when there isn't a sun or a planet to measure with? He asked. Um... Discord sighed. Put down five billion. He said finally. That's close enough. Okay. Nodded the Pegasus. He looked down at the forms and looked up again. Um, I'm only supposed to put in one digit per block. So? Sure. Asked Discord. Well, uh, there's only three blocks, said the Pegasus nervously. Oh, that's perfect, yelled Discord. Just perfect. Why, you'd think that the stupid ponies who designed this stupid format never ever thought that the Draconicals would ever try to get a set of citizenship documents. I'm half tempted to reach back in time and slap them over the head in the hopes that they'd be sensible. You can do that? Asked the Pegasus nervously. Of course I can do that! Snapped Discord. I'm Discord! He sighed. It's not as if there's... He paused suddenly as a thought struck him. Wait a minute, said Discord suddenly. The princesses, I know for a fact that their age is four digits long. How did they fill in the forms? Um, they... They've been citizens of Equestria for centuries, said the Pegasus. I don't know how they filled it out, but it must have been a long time ago. They might not have been a thousand yet then, I guess. This is ridiculous! Yelled Discord. Why are there only three boxes for each? I mean, there's a lot of creatures out there that can grow to more than a thousand years old. What about dragons? How many dragons have ever tried to fill out this form? Uh, one, said the Pegasus. Ah, and what did he put? Well, he didn't fill it out himself, said the Pegasus nervously. I understand he was three days old at the time. Three days. Yes, see? Easily under three digits. <coughs> Yelled Discord. Three digits. How am I supposed to fit my magnificent age into a mere three digits? I have no idea, admitted the Pegasus. Three digits, muttered Discord. Three digits. He paced back and forth for a moment and then said, Ah, 
Three digits right in the first block. Put a one. Right, said the Pegasus, drawing a single stroke with a pen. Then a two. Right. Right. One hundred twenty. No, 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 no. Twelve. Now in the third block, raise it to the power of nine. Wait, what? Raise it to the power of nine, said Discord smugly. That's 5,159,780,352 years. Close enough. The Pegasus nodded and frowned at the form. With great care, he put a 9 into the upper half of the third block. Right, he said. That's your name and your age so far. Of course, I'll need a copy of a birth certificate to go with this. Discord screamed in frustration. Parents' names. Parents' names? Asked Discord. Parents' names, said the Pegasus firmly. I didn't have parents, said Discord. Ah, so I can mark down orphans then? There was a long silence, then Discord spoke. There's a box for that? He asked. The Pegasus nodded. And it doesn't lead to any additional forms or anything like that? He asked. The Pegasus shook his head. On the contrary, he said. We can skip the entirety of section 14b, parents. Discord sank into his seat, sighing with happiness. Well, that's good news, I guess. Right, so what's next? Four hours later. Pegasus, Unicorn, Earth Pony, Griffin, Dragon, Minotaur, Zebra or other? Asked the Pegasus. Azar! Snarled Discord. Draconicus. Um, how do you spell that? D-R-A-C-O-N-E-Q-U-U-S! The Pegasus started writing, then slowed down and stopped. Um, he said. Discord sighed. What is it now? He asked. That's the eleven letters, said the Pegasus. Yes, so? There's... there's only space here for ten letters. What? Ten letters, said the Pegasus, tapping the form. Ten little blocks, see? Discord's eye twitched. Maybe I could just leave out one of the letters? Asked the Pegasus. Discord stared at him for a long time, then threw his talon and paw up in the air. Fine! He yelled. Fine! Leave out a letter! See if I care! Since you marked other, continued the Pegasus, you'll need to fill out supplementary species detail forms AZ-17, BR-12, TW-93, DI-37, and KE-53 to KE-92. Discord groaned. So, said Celestia, looking over the document in front of her. According to this, you're 129 years old? That should be 12 to the 9th, explained Discord. And you're a Draconicu? Discord sighed. Which, according to the supplementary forms you've filled in, is an endangered sapient creature, which requires two liters of chocolate milk and 15 cupcakes a day for medical reasons? I got cranky without them, explained Discord. I don't think cranky counts as reason enough for medical reasons, said Celestia. Oh, yes it does, insisted Discord. It's for my mental health. What about your dental health? Asked Celestia. No, 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 no. Not dental. Mental. I mean, explained Celestia calmly. Aren't they bad for your teeth? No, said Discord firmly. Celestia raised an eyebrow but didn't push the point. I see you're also deathly allergic to spinach and alfalfa. Oh, terribly, 
moaned Discord, clutching his stomach. Why the very words strike me to the marrow? And you're an orphan. Yes. All right, Celestia put down the form. Which leaves me with only one question. And what would that be? Asked Discord. If you wanted citizenship papers, said Celestia. Why didn't you come to me directly? What? The forms really aren't intended to be used by the more unusual citizenship applicants, explained Celestia. They're intended to be used by people of species we've had as citizens before. If you'd come straight to me, I could have had your papers sorted out within five minutes. There was a long moment of silence, and then Discord screamed. Welcome back to Common Time as a Virtual Pony, where I will remind you that you can support Pony Wolf Productions through the links down in the description below. Every dollar helps is needed and very much appreciated, and helps to keep the lights on around here. And you want to keep the lights on around here, right, 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 right? Okay, let's get into the meat of the story, because I don't think I can keep going like this for very much longer. Um, okay, so, oh, holy shit! I mean, come on, guys! This story from... I, I mean, I can understand, like, only three blocks for the age and all that, and them not having all those things that Discord needs, like that he doesn't have parents, he's a being of pure chaos, or that Draconicus is not a race that they have in their, you know, in their database, basically, because there is only one as far as we know. But oh my word! <laughs> You've got to love bureaucracy. I don't know how many of you actually know the old movies called Asterix and Obelix. Um, there is actually one of those movies. Uh, I think it's called Asterisk and Ob uh, Aster Asterix and Obelix go to Rome or conquer Rome or something like that. And there they have to do the Herculean tasks. And there's one task that they have to do is they have to go into the building that makes insane people. And this building is literally just one giant building full of bureaucracy where they're being sent from one counter to the next to fill out documents. And believe me, this scene alone is worth watching that movie. By the way, I think you can even found, uh, find it on YouTube. And with this, I will say goodbye and sign off. I am Visual Pony. I hope this video finds you well in body and mind. And see you in the next one.